Welcome, my name is Heaven, and today I have a Disney pack with me video. So if you are traveling to Disney World with little ones, with a toddler, or if you are just looking for some Disney outfit inspiration, then I have it here for you guys because I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm packing for a two-week trip to Disney World for myself, my husband, and my four-year-old toddler, as well as all of the necessities and essentials that you pretty much just need when going to Disney World, either if you're going by yourself or specifically if you are going with little ones so I have a lot of things to show you guys I'm not gonna waste any time I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it and if at any point in this video you find it to be helpful you find any of these outfits to be cute and inspirational or it just helps you make packing for Disney World a little bit easier I hope that you get this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because we go to Disney World multiple times throughout the year. So I'm always going to be sharing all of the Disney family tips, tricks, and fun. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First things first, I'm going to be showing you guys what I am packing in my four-year-old packing queue. We are going to be taking check bags. It just makes our luggage on the plane, getting on and off the plane a little bit easier. So if you are flying where check bags is included, then happily, I highly recommend checking a bag. It just makes it a lot easier when you're traveling with little ones. Um, or if you can afford to just get the check bag, you can do that. And a lot of people don't like waiting after like the flight to wait at the carousel and get the luggage and they would rather have their luggage right on the plane with them. If that is you, then by all means, get your packing cube and put it in your carry-on bag. I pack everything from bottom to top in order of how we're going to be doing our days. This is two weeks. On this side here, this is the first week. And then on this side here, that is the second week. So we fly in on Sunday morning and that day, we are going to be either hanging around the resort, doing our grocery shopping, like hitting up Walmart for all of the things that we didn't pack, um, water and things like that. And then we'll probably maybe go hang around Disney Spring, do a little resort hopping, a little resort shopping, I don't know. So we're gonna start off our trip with our most favorite park, and that is definitely Magic Kingdom. And this is what I have for my little one. This is his Mickey Mouse Adidas set. It has Mickey, Goofy, and Donald with a letter M. And it says Disney Adidas right there at the top. It's red, blue, and yellow. Perfect Magic Kingdom colors for a little boy. And then these are the royal blue shorts to go along with it i love that they have the royal blue because in the past i got the set and it was like in black and then they had another one in like navy blue but i always prefer like the brighter lighter colors for him especially when we are going during the warmer months which we will be going in september so i like that the blue is a brighter royal blue now i'm gonna fold everything right back up as I go so that I can just toss this stuff right back inside of the packing cubes. Gonna link as much of this stuff down below as I can. But this is the Winnie the Pooh. Very nice to meet you. I love like the orange and like the light colors for Animal Kingdom. Let me know what you think is the hottest park inside of Disney World. For me, I definitely think it's Animal Kingdom and I do not know why. I've always felt that. So we're going with lighter colors. It just has poo all over it. Then little shorts for him with the matching top then we are going to have a break day so for the break day i just got him some jean shorts from target as well as a matching cat and jack shirt and this shirt would also be really cute for animal kingdom too the next day we're going to be doing hollywood studios of course we always start off our trip inside of toy story land for the most part so i got him this toy story shirt with Toy Story shorts with the little alien on it and he wore those shorts last trip with this shirt here so I'm gonna bring it as like a spare because I always keep a spare shirt inside of his diaper bag because you just never know when a toddler is gonna mess up their clothes so I always bring spare so I'm gonna pack the short sleeve shirt but this is the one that he's actually going to like wear to the parks the following day we're gonna do Epcot and I just love the color blue for Epcot I don't know like Tell me if I'm crazy. What do you think, like, what would be your go-to color for Epcot? For me, it has always been blue. I always will throw my family on a blue outfit for Epcot. So, he is going to be wearing these blue 
jogger shorts and i got these from kohl's this is the jumping beans branded disney shorts and then we're just gonna go with a blue simple adidas shirt i thought that like this design here would go well with like these shorts so we're gonna do mickey shorts with this adidas blue top for his epcot the following day we're gonna take another break so i just threw in like a little t-shirt and shorts outfit who knows what we're gonna get into so i kept it nice and simple but still kind of like cute for him so that is going to be the sum of our first week so the next week starting sunday we are going to be doing our mickey's not so scary halloween party so during the days i don't know what we're going to do there's a pretty good chance we're just going to be around the resort um we're probably going to go and grab like some breakfast and eat it out on the patio and just relax a little bit from like our busy epcot and hollywood studio you know weekend sunday the earliest you can get into the parks for the mickey's not so scary halloween party is 4 p.m so it's not like a huge break in the day but you can definitely sleep in this is the costume he decided to go with this year last year he was the mickey pumpkin this year he is going to be lightning mcqueen so i love this it's super cute is the lightning mcqueen like car like you just put it on over your shoulders and it also comes with the hat and he can take it off like when we get on the ride and then he'll have this shirt on up under it and it says lightning mcqueen on it and then it also came with this one it was a two pack so it came with this one here that said race to win so i kind of wanted to do this one but i thought the red one makes more sense let me know what you think which one would be better up under it i feel like it's this one but I packed both anyway. So for this next week, we literally don't know what we're going to be doing yet. Because um, I'm almost like, I am almost like 98% sure my husband is going to pack us up in that car and drive us to Universal Studios. Because he always surprises us when we get there and find something else that he just want to do. So sometimes we will branch outside of the Disney bubble and we'll do like um, SeaWorld, we'll do Universal. We'll do um, Adventure Island and like, you know, just other things there in Florida to do. So for that second week, I just packed a few different like outfits to either like go to Disney Springs, the boardwalk, to do some shopping, to go to Universal Studios, whatever we end up doing. So I got this one because we are going to be doing a little bit of resort dining. So one way that we like to explore like the other Disney World resorts outside of like where we're staying at is to go ahead and plan like a dining reservation that way you can go and park and just explore all of the resort like up until your reservation or after your reservation so I packed him another Mickey outfit because I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing like chef Mickey I think I booked storybook dining maybe to um I don't know but I packed him a little Mickey Mouse set so shorts and the top very comfy perfect little hangout around the resort outfit and then i packed him this one because i'm telling you guys i feel like my husband's gonna take us to universal studios this is one of our favorite rides at universal studios so this is a spider-man shirt that i packed for him with these little shorts to match a very comfy little outfit and then i just packed him a couple more just like comfortable outfits so t-shirt with shorts t-shirt and shorts very basic target cat and jack so um really quickly the way that i did this the way that i mapped out packing is very like straightforward i i think so a park day outfit for every single park so i packed magic kingdom animal kingdom epcot hollywood studio four park outfits plus one mickey not so scary halloween outfit so i take all of those five outfits and that is the first five outfits i pack then i pack an additional four outfits that are just comfortable just four comfy outfits I pack one like formal or casual outfit and then I pack two outing outfits. So all of our park outfits, five of those, 
one formal, two outings, four comfy, right? That is how I pack it up. I don't know where I got that specific number from, but that has been working and that's gonna work. <laughs> um, the only other way that I would change this is if we go to more or less parks or if we go for like a shorter amount of time. But so far that is the way that I'm doing it for both me, my husband, and for my son. So that is how I packed it up and then I just put it in there by day and like, you know. By the way, these are the shoes that I'm going to be packing for him. These are just some lightweight croc sandals. They're pretty comfortable. He loves his croc like clock style shoes. So I may pack those too, but I'm 100% going to be packing the Croc sandals. And we just put Chip and Dale in there, the castle, and some Disney snacks. And then he's going to be wearing his Adidas sneakers like there. So he's going to wear a pair of sneakers and then I'm going to pack the Croc sandals. That is because these are going to be great for like going to the pool, going to the beach, going to the parks, basically everything. And then he'll also have a pair of sneakers too. Accessories that I have for him is just some sun hats to keep the sun out of his face. So I got a blue one, a white one, and then I just got a marble one in case we go to that Universal Studios day. So those are the accessories that I have for him. And then he's gonna wear his magic band and a little pair of sunglasses. And these are the days of the week boxers. I mean, what easier way to pack boxers than to pack the ones that has the literal day of the week on it. I forgot to mention that we are going to be staying inside like a condo style resort. We will have a washer, a dryer, and a full kitchen. So we will be able to rewash all of his clothes. This is the cutest little Mickey pajama set. It's like a Mickey breakfast pajama set. So it comes with this shirt as well as pants this one my dad is my best friend with light blue pants and he has a checkered set he has a mickey and mini little red and white pajama set as well as a let the journey to bed begin moose pajama set and this one as well, another like adventure moose pajama set. So he just have a few pajama sets there that he can wear and rewash. This is the swim set. So he has these little red and navy blue ones with this little navy blue and white shirt. This is the swimsuit that he has been wearing this summer. And then I always pack him a little long sleeve like swim shirt or swim jacket too in case it gets like a little chilly. He always gets in the water and gets like a little chilly. So just in case like the pool isn't warm enough for him, I pack a long sleeve. Now this one for Magical Little Babes was gifted to him. Um, he has like a little Mickey swim shirt here. And these are the shirts that it came with. But I don't know if it was intended like i think i don't know if it was intended to be worn with like a swim diaper maybe i don't know because it's a four or five so i would imagine that the child would be potty trained but it has no lining on the inside so if i was to put these on my son it would not hold him in place so he can't he can't swim in these um so maybe we can do the shirt and pair it with the shorts I'm thinking um I haven't figured that out yet or maybe he just won't get to wear that set at all I kind of wanted him to get a chance to wear it but with the design of it I don't know that we can go that route so something to figure out moving along to what I'm packing for myself so I arranged mine the same way as I arranged his and with the same concept, park day outfits or comfy outfits, one formal outfit and two outing outfits. And I did put these ones in order. So this is my athletic dress here that I'm going to be wearing to Magic Kingdom. Spaghetti straps and racer back. And this one is like mid thigh length. And this is the one that has the shorts built in. Some of the athletic dresses come with like a separate pair of shorts. But these are the ones that has the shorts built in. And also has the bra built in. Um, it's an easy like just toss on and go. This one does not have the bra built in to it. Like it is thick. So you can wear out like pasties. Which is what I'm probably going to do. But 
we'll see because it is like kind of tight fitting so it'll hold you in place but it doesn't have bra built in so you still need like some type of pasties under it so this is my magic kingdom dress accessory that i have is just this this is a disney um little mermaid jumbo fanny pack jumbo because it's not like the small one it's big you can just like wear it cross body or around your waist or however and i think it'll match the next day again we're going to be doing animal kingdom and so i got this little rumper here light colored thin material it does have a zipper pocket a drawstring it's kind of like a skirt looks like a skirt but of course it has the shorts under it the next day we are taking a little rest break so i just packed this tank from target taupe or tan tank with my favorite i love the levi shorts because like they they do not ride fit so well um and they do not ride up in the back the front or the middle they go where they're supposed to go past your behind and they stay there that's what i love about those shorts so next we're doing hollywood studios so i'm going to be wearing this toy story overall shorts and i am going to wear just a basic target tank up under it and then blue for epcot i have another athletic dress this one has become a favorite i pack it all the time <laughs> this one's for epcot um it has the shorts built in these shorts are a little bit shorter than the built-in shorts for the pink one for magic kingdom that's important to note if you deal with like thigh chafing <laughs> where your thighs rub together while you're walking into parks and you need some type of thigh cream so if that's an issue then you know make sure you get the ones with like a longer shorts up under it this one has shorter shorts up under it so i'm a tad bit worried i wore it before in the past and haven't had an issue but i think that maybe i'm picking up a little weight because recently on the treadmill it just it wasn't rubbing the right way so we'll see but this one does have the bra built in like it actually has the padding in it so that i don't have to wear any pasties and then of course the adjustable straps as well so this is for epcot and then we're going to take another break so up under here i only put a shirt i put just a basic white t-shirt from target and i'm gonna wear it with one of the jean shorts that i have packed because i packed two pairs of jean shorts the ones that i show you and then the ones that i'm gonna show you for the next day when we do the halloween party i packed myself some really really thin white biker shorts with a really really thin white no boundaries tank and then this is what i packed and i have another halloween t-shirt that i might wear instead but i packed this one that i never got a chance to wear um and this is just like a really really thin so thin you can see like my hand through it overalls shirt so that's why i had to pack the undergarments because it's really really thin um and so i got this one it went on sale it was like twenty dollars i think when it's normal price like 45 bucks so this is just the mickey and minnie candy corn and pumpkin themed overall set so that is what i had for the halloween party this is one of the comfy outfits i packed some gray stretch pants with a basic no boundaries light pink tank these are like the mickey and minnie jersey shirts so they button up or you can just leave them open so i think i'm gonna toss this in there too because if we do decide to go somewhere and i'm wearing this little comfy set then i can just put this on over it and leave it open but it'll cover my backside. this is the in case my husband takes us to universal outfit this one says i'm his favorite thing i packed my husband the matching one that says i'm her favorite thing we got these from the dr seuss land at universal the last time he was there so i packed that one with just a basic pair of black leggings and then i also packed this adidas set this was a collection and i can't remember by who but this is the basic pink and red um oh there it goes marimeku i guess with the matching shorts basic comfy outfit and then i also got this one which is a like short rumper set it was fitting a little tight so i went up in size but then when i went up in size the underarm 
kind of hung a little bit low so if i wear this i am going to wear it with a white sports bra or you can do it with like a thin sports bra up under it or you can put this over it a little mickey and mini jersey which i can put this one over this and that'll be cute too and this one will cover my back side so and then this is the second pair of shorts that i packed and then i just packed a little beachy summer dress in case we decide to hang out in the beach area of like one of the disney resorts or just spend one of our days taking a little drive out to like coco beach or I don't know exploring like other parts of florida then we can do that and this will be my beach dress one of those dresses that you can either dress it up or down you can use it as a cover-up like and toss it over your swimwear however you want to do it for my husband i pretty much packed him to match the family so he's not going to be matching me for magic kingdom obviously because i'm going to be wearing pink but i did pack him a blue and red adidas outfit to match my son's blue and red adidas outfit so his outfits are just pretty much going to be matching ours i'm going to go with this one which is just a black it has a built-in bra and it's a black one piece like tikini with biker shorts so they're long enough to go like past your behind very kid friendly um disney road as a family park not to say like you can't go and enjoy yourself like with your spouse but i'm super like conscious of myself just in general but especially like in a family area sometimes if it's just my husband and i i might you know try to be a little more i don't know like sexy for my husband if it's just like for us but like when we're going in a family area i try to keep it very very conservative so this is what i'm packing for my swimwear and then i also got two other ones so right now i realize that is an issue and i need to figure that out really quick but i have this one piece here so one piece with the built-in cover-up skirt so there's that one and then the other one is a tikini top so it's a tank and you can swim in it and then the shorts to match it so this is the bottoms it's not like bikini bottoms it's shorts and then this has a built-in bra but it's like sports bra style bikini top with like a racer back and then I also packed myself a swim jacket as well. It's just an all white swim jacket with like drawstrings on the side so that you can make it as short or as long as you want to. And it's inside of the back with my PJs. All of my packing cubes were just from either Amazon or the dollar store. So like this summer vibes packing cube was from the dollar store it was one dollar and i got one for myself and then a blue one for my husband that says beach vibes and i put his swim trunks in there with noah's and then this one for myself the packing cubes i got the blue set for like twenty dollars and that's for my husband and noah's and then i also got the tan set for myself which was like twelve dollars from amazon so nothing too expensive as far as packing cubes go for accessories like if it's raining, if my head is just getting trampled over with rain, then I'm going to feel very uncomfortable. Like if the rain is just falling on my head. <laughs> so a hat just makes me feel super comfortable in the rain because the brim of it kind of just keeps the rain out of your face and keeps the top of your head a little less cold and a little less wet, obviously. So I have this one. This came in handy when we were at Disney Springs, kept my head dry. And then I also have the light pink, um, like thin Nike one. So both of these are very thin material hats. This is the live action Little Mermaid fanny pack. It's a jumbo fanny pack. Like you can fit so much in here. Like this is the front pocket, huge, which is great because my phone is pretty huge and I can still put it in that front pocket. And then this is the main pocket. So you could fit, like I can fit my camera in here, my phone, lotion, snacks. Got this one that I like to carry because it's all black. It'll match with anything. And I can wear this outside of the Disney parks as well. It's still like Disney lounge fly. I think like you can wear it anywhere. It's just a leather 
um, messenger bag. And I had got this one on sale at the Disney outlet the last time we were there. Great size, but it also has the holes. And the holes is so that you can put all of your Mickey pins either down the sides or in the front of it. So I love that for this bag. That is the specific reason why I got it. So I'm going to be taking this messenger bag with me. And then I'll also take this one. So that is the theme that I'm going to be going with this time is going to be the Little Mermaid theme since that is one of the newest movies that has come out. Now this one is not on the Disney website. This one was on Loungefly's website, but oh my god, I'm in love. It's beautiful. Like look at the, um, look at the zipper. It's, it's a fork. How, how cute is that? I'm going to be putting my camera and my phone in here. Besides that, I have a little first aid kit inside of here. Got this from the dollar store. And then I just put stuff in it that we already had at home. So I have drama men for like the chewable keys, drama men for Noah. And then I also have drama men for myself. And then of course I have like a Neosporin and I have alcohol prep pads as well. Different size bandages. And then I have some sanitizer, a little pack of tissues and some hand sanitizing wipes normally i will take like a huge jumbo bag like we would take so much luggage in the past i kid you not we would take like a diaper bag for noah a personal item for noah personal item for myself personal item for my husband all of our personal items would be jumbo backpacks plus a jumbo diaper bag and honestly it's exhausting <laughs> so i'm trying to make it a little bit smaller so this is going to be my personal item and this is going to be a noah's personal item and diaper bag so we're not taking him a personal item separate from a diaper bag that extra like bag that we're not taking that we're allowed to take is going to be just in case we have to purchase a backpack to bring back home for all of the extra stuff that we bought side of noah's bag here it has his mickey headphones for the airplane this is going to be good for like his ears popping if he decides he wants to watch a show i have him just a spare change of clothes in case he gets dirty on like travel day a reusable white pouch with some wipes inside of it in the back i'm gonna put like a small tablet for him and then he has his activity bag so here is what's inside of noah's activity bag in here so for one he has a few of these things i didn't think he would love them but he did these are like the stretchy like so loud and so annoying and if he hears me playing with these he's gonna run upstairs so i'm not even gonna <laughs> i'm not even gonna but they stretch way out and you can like put all of the different colors and all the different ones together like they snap on the ends to just make things but they're so tiny that i can fit them inside of his bag i also packed him two of these little drawing pads I packed two just in case the batteries on that go out. So I got him that one. And then this is his Paw Patrol looking fine. So this is like the little flashlight thingy that it comes with. And it has various different pages where he needs to find these items down here. And he can do that by sticking the flashlight on the inside like this. And then basically it'll light up the areas and it'll help him to find the item at the top. He's coming up right now. Like it's like he knows when I pull out something that I don't want him to have. Um, I folded him up a few coloring pages and activity sheets. These are perfect to pull out at the restaurants if you know you're sitting down somewhere at a restaurant and you need something to keep him busy so that he can color. And we have the triangle washable crayons, washable in case he get them on anything. Triangle so that they don't roll off the airplane um tray or the restaurant table have some mickey stickers that i am going to make sure he does not stick all over the airplane <laughs> and then he also has a mess free paw patrol activity pad he loves paw patrol as much as he loved disney so it just like has like a bunch of mess free coloring activities meaning that it will only color on these pages it's not going to color on anything else this little fidget like pop socket thing and then this is the newest addition. This is a sensory seek and find. There are 25 items to find in 40 seek and find challenges. So basically it's a cute little bear. And in the back pocket here attached is cards that it will ask him to find. So right here, like it says, find the red bug. 
So he would take out this little squishy thing with all of these little sensory items on the inside and he would like try to sort through it and find the red bug. So it's like a bunch of little beads in there with like hidden objects that he needs to find. This is going to keep him busy for a nice little while. But this is his activity bag that we are going to take with us everywhere we go. So this will keep him busy in the airport while we are waiting for the airplane. This will keep him busy on the airplane. It will keep him busy at the resort sometimes as well as when we are eating out at like restaurants and things like that. Then these are all things that we can pull out to keep him busy. And then this front pocket that's empty is where I'm going to just toss in a few little snack items for him. So I'm going to put snacks in there. Disposable toilet seat covers. And I put them on the side so that if he has to go, he has to go. Nobody wants to be like zipping through bags. You just want to pull it out the side pocket and then go to the restroom. My packing cube set also came with a shoe bag. So this is a shoe bag that I'm going to be carrying my sandals in. I'm going to be taking a pair of black Skechers sneakers, like the ones with the memory foam, like cooling cushion in them because yeah, I need them for all of the park days. So they're basic, all black sneakers, comfortable. And then I'm also going to pack a pair of comfortable sandals um, that I can put in here and take them inside the stroller in case I want to switch out of the sneakers. If it rains, I'm not going to be wanting to wear wet sneakers. In the past, I've worn my Croc sneakers that are like rubber material. Material, but this time I want something with just a little bit more like soft cushion so although I've never wanted to part with my croc sneakers I think I'm going to this time but I am going to pack my croc sandals and then I take my little towel my hair towel for when I wash my hair at the resort and then I need to just put it up for the rest of the day and then these are all of my pajamas I have a waffle knit robe and then a bunch of little nightgowns inside of here inside of here I have my shower cap and then this little like this little thing is like a towel wrap that you just wrap like around like that and this just keeps your hair out of your face when you like wash your face okay I had to switch out my camera battery this video is getting super long like this is just what is like packing for Disney? All the things, um, all the things you need. But back to the toiletries. This is my little hanging toiletry bag that folds down like that. And then that way you have more counter space. So these are just like our toothpastes. I got a full size one for my husband and I to share. And then a kid's travel size one for Noah. And then in here I have like six toothbrushes. They all have covers on them so that just in case we lose a toothbrush, Noah's good for like dropping his toothbrush, leaving it out on the counter or dropping it on the floor. Just, I don't know, he does that. So he has two toothbrushes. My husband and I also have two toothbrushes because you just never know when you're gonna lose or drop a toothbrush or need another one. In the back here, all of our travel size items. So I have my Paula's Choice like face moisturizer that has the SPF 30 plus with antioxidants and then I also have my skin cream in there. This is our sunscreen lotion. It was travel sized body wash our travel size body wash as well a little travel size deodorant as well as some face makeup remover wipes are all what's inside of here i still need to pack my face wash and a travel size shampoo conditioner and that'll be it for the toiletries that we are taking we always go to walmart as soon as we get there that's the first thing that we do so um i'm not too worried about I was like forgetting anything so I just pack small and then anything more that we run out of or are gonna need we get there. It still has one more extra packet here. These are my underclothes all seamless no show underclothes and really thin um, bras are what's inside of here. I either wear the no show socks or the tall socks. I think they're kind of cute with like the athletic dresses. So white and black no shows as well as this compression one. These are compression ones. So it just means like these are a little bit thicker. And I wore these last time. It has Mickey Mouse. These are, um, what do you call them? Like a shock material. I can't explain it to so where basically if you're like hitting your heel a lot, then it absorbs some of the shock of the 
like hit I can't explain it I really need to google what I'm talking about but basically they're comfortable for walking all day and they are also compression socks so I got these ones um I got one pair in white and then I got another pair in pink okay so I want to wear with my magic kingdom athletic dress so these are literally athletic socks they're soccer socks but they're really comfy to walk in and they just help with like walking all day so i got that so i have one pack of wipes inside of the stroller one pack inside of noah's bag and then this is the pack that's going to be inside of the um suitcase that we're going to just keep inside of the room in case we need baby wipes for him in the room he's four so we don't need wipes like to wipe him with but you just never know when you need baby wipes to clean up like a spill or his hands or just anything for that matter so we still carry baby wipes wherever we go along with our hand cleaning wipes this is our electronics bag i got this bag for a dollar at the dollar store and it is holding all of our fans so our stroller fan for noah and then neck fans for my husband and i with the chargers inside of it and it is kind of like a cooler bag um which is good because like heat and electronics just does not go i need to add our portable charger but i'm pretty sure i'm going to be keeping that inside of my lounge flight bag because i need that portable charger to go with me wherever I go but it is the one that doesn't need a cord you just connect it to the bottom of your phone with no cords so that is the portable charger that I'm gonna be taking we can use this one if we need to charge like our fans if we need to charge any of our other electronics then that's what this one is for this is our Zach stainless steel water bottle for Noah and then I'm gonna bring some for my husband and I too to just keep our water with like our liquid IVs um, cold while we are traveling. We have in total about five bubble blowers around our house. This time we are bringing this one. We're not buying another Mickey bubble blower. We just don't need to. So yeah, I'm taking it because I'm 100% sure if he sees it, it doesn't matter if he has one at home because if he doesn't have it there, he's going to want it. It keeps him busy. It's one of those things where him and the other kids, they roll past each other in the stroller and all the kids with the bubbles laughing at each other. It's just, it's, it's a staple for our little one. So we're taking it this time and then we bought bubbles to refill it. This has a ton of like iron, vitamin C, and excedrin in here. Pretty much what I'll be having for myself. <laughs> and then in here we have a little extra stuff. You guys do not judge me, but I really do need this. I have a roll on Icy Hot. More first aid kit stuff. Rubber gloves, larger um, bandages, more drama men. All inside of here. And then inside of here, which is Noah's baggy, I have his, um, his vitamins are here. And then more vitamin C for my husband. This is the one where I will be pulling out for them and say, hey, you guys, take your vitamins. I also have our little, like, thermometers just in case. I hope we won't need those, but you never know when your little one come down with a fever traveling and things unfortunately so we try our best to double up on our vitamins and wash our hands often um keep ourselves nice and clean but you just never know so more health stuff we are taking our reusable halloween tote that we had got from disney and this is where you put all of your extra halloween candy if his bag gets filled up and then we are breaking his swim floaty or his little swim flotation device this is the one he is using right now to swim with i have a list of things that i haven't packed yet my makeup i haven't packed yet um i haven't packed like our schedule itinerary i need to pack my face wash our shoes um all of our like laptop chargers and things like that if i decide to take my laptop noah's snack um so i have a few more things that i need here to add so that i don't forget but for the most part i showed you guys everything this is our stroller cover here and i am going to do a separate like stroller video so i'll show you guys how i set this up we've had this since he was an infant so it's lasted four years um keeps the rain and the sun off of him and it was $20 on Amazon and I can link it below 
This is one that we always carry and it slides into our stroller bag. We each have rain jackets. So we do rain jackets, not the ponchos, but actual rain jackets. I have a rain jacket, my husband has a rain jacket, and Noah has an actual rain jacket. They are much more comfortable and keep you, like, feeling your best if it does rain. Because, you know, we don't like when it rains at Disney World. But a way for it to surely ruin your trip is to not be prepared. So we always bring one umbrella just in case it gets really, really heavy. You just never know when that rain is going to come down. I'm going to wear jogger sets there with the jacket. So whatever jacket we wear there because it's going to be a little bit chilly in the morning from where we're leaving. That's the jacket we'll just carry with us in case we need a jacket anytime that we are there. This is Noah's sweatshirt to keep his arms warm if it gets cool in the parks. And then he has his little Adidas shirt with some pants and some sneakers. So that is his travel outfit. We are all doing the same. I'm really just trying to make sure that I've, I've showed you guys everything. Um, Noah's gonna take his house shoes as well as a little robe because we like to when we get back from the parks after a long day or when we get back from anywhere we like to just hop right into the bath or the shower and then we'll eat dinner so we'll get back to the room we'll shower and things like that and then we'll just put on our robe and then sit down and have dinner together and then settle down take off our robe and get back into the bed we don't like bare feet on the carpet so we like to have our slippers to walk around in we don't like want to sit on the furniture in the resort room before getting into the bed. That's how we do things in our own house as well. Like we will wear a robe and some slippers all the way up until we get into the bed. We are taking the same magic bands that we had last time. So I have the pink one that lights up Be Happy. It is the magic band plus and it lights up with like the castle projections and the fireworks it has a mickey mouse on there it also has the castle and i also have rubber bands on there because that saved us last time because it just kept unsnapping and falling off so i put little rubber bands on there and then you could just slide it through the rubber band that is all that i had on hand this time around i'm going to be bringing like bands like actual watch bands i'm going to get from amazon um and then this this is my husband's. He picked out like this sleek modern Hercules design and I'm taking both the chargers and then Noah has the basic magic band with the choo-choo train on it, the castle and Mickey Mouse as well as all of Mickey's friends. Again, I'm going to do a separate stroller setup video for you guys, but this is the safety first Mickey stroller that we're taking. And then this is like the attachable or detachable children's Disney baby like stroller sack attachment. And I like to put it on like the sides like of the stroller instead of the top as well as these attachable fun bliss stroller hooks that you can attach your like it's one on each side here's the other one you can attach your like stroller hooks we always take a little phone holder that's great for navigating the parts like ordering food scheduling rides and things like that and it's also great for taking family photos if you don't have anyone to hold your phone you can just put your phone here or your camera and set a timer and then take those pictures that you love to take or that we love to take um inside of here then in here i put a little snack cup for noah this is a stroller bag so this is like a little baggie that once we get to like the airplane door all the way up into the point where you leave your strollers on the side we are going to just slide this over the stroller to keep it clean and things like when traveling um this is the cooler bag i'm going to show you guys this when i do my stroller setup it's a cooler bag with like a little ice pack in there so i slid that down inside of the sack and this one has like a few like you can slide stuff in this bag um but then it also has like a zipper here and it's detachable so if you have stuff in here when you get to security you just unsnap it 
here and then just put that on the conveyor belt and this stroller came with one really nice cup holder these are bottle holders not cup holders just bottle holders but this is the cup holder and then we attached an extra cup holder here it's very easy let me show you guys so this is a little snap but if you push on like the stroller you can unsnap it and then you slide it open like this and it kind of just like lifts up just like that and you can like hold it with two hands on the side or you can just hold it like this if you need to one hand it and we have a ton of attachments that you don't need like all of the stuff you can take off you don't have to have this stuff on here probably gonna just take this off like for the airport and then just put this like in the bottom of the stroller just unsnap the side here and then it kind of just pop right off like that and <clears throat> this is the stroller we're taking the seat does recline all the way back the foot does go down or up and it does have an umbrella canopy also very easy to maneuver the weight limit for this is 50 pounds on the back of the stroller it does have a little pocket and i have baby wipes hand sanitizing wipes and hand sanitizer but you guys that sums up today's pack with me video a very long but um i really wanted to make this one a little more detailed than my last one i feel like my last one was very detailed as well but i really wanted to make sure i'm really showing you guys every single thing i still feel like there's something i'm forgetting so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go back and watch my old pack with me videos just to be sure because i want to make sure i have everything let me know what you guys think am i forgetting anything is there something that you pack when you're traveling with little ones that i haven't mentioned if so let me know because i would love to know i need all of the tips we need to just share them with each other one disney mama to another so i hope that you found this video to be helpful and i hope that you were able to get some inspiration and some motivation if there was anything that you forgot or you never considered packing for disney world let me know and give this video a thumbs up if there was something that you know you got like or took away from this video i would really love to know and if you love disney pack with me videos disney travel vlogs and all the tips and tricks definitely subscribe to my channel. My name is Heaven and I would love to have you here. That is going to be all for today's video. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this video, but more so, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Let's go make some memories.